This episode of the Public Information Film Review is brought to you by Not Being Electrocuted Yes indeed, Not Being Electrocuted Check it out, it's awesome Welcome, if that's the right word, to the Public Information Film Review. In this episode, Her Majesty's Government invites you not to barbecue yourself. This film is actually quite unusual in terms of PIFs. To begin with, there is no narration. We're not supposed to go in there. Oh, go on, there's a gap down there. A gang of kids broke in yesterday. I saw them. Well, not until tragedy strikes, and when it does, it is in the form of a radio newscast. This lends the film an unnerving realism. The film tries to stay real until the last seven seconds, then it takes a handbrake turn into nightmare land. I mean honestly. Was there any need to tack that bit on the end? The British government would insist on airing these bloody films during the ad breaks of popular kids shows such as these. Then you would get some knobhead politicians saying the shows were violent. Are you kidding? Thanks to Uncle Government I have just watched a kid my age being fried alive. And I saw it a good 10 hours before the 9pm watershed too. If you really wanted to scare us why not put this on? The other unusual thing about this PIF is that I can't seem to find any production credits for it. Very strange. At least Roger Odio Dato owned up to making Cannibal Holocaust. Mind you if you had asked him to make a public information film it may well have looked very similar to Frisbee. This film also has the unusual attribute of being part of a trilogy, including Kite and Fishing Rod, made the year before and the year after respectively. They were amalgamated into the longer film Powerful Stuff in 1989. Good God! Gets better each time you hear it. This film is highly effective, memorable and has that strange juxtaposition of realism and nightmarish imagery that big budget horror directors consistently fail to accomplish. To make a film that's only 120 seconds long and yet still lives in the public consciousness after 36 years is an astonishing achievement. That's all for this episode, and so from all of us here, until next time. Bollocks.